Hello all, welcome to my channel Easy Tulu, Learn Tulu Language Online. In the last lesson, we have learned adjectival participles in Tulu. Today we are going to learn remaining verbals. Those are gerunds, infinitives and verbal nouns in Tulu. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notification on upcoming videos. Also, please like and share this video if you liked it. First, let us learn gerunds in Tulu. Gerunds are used as nouns in a sentence. There are four forms, present, simple past, past perfect and negative. The suffix used is ni. In some dialects, suffix na or ne also used. The suffix ni is added to adjectival participles, which we have learned in previous lesson. For example, baru means come. Present adjectival participle is barpi. So present gerund is barpi plus ni, barpi ni means coming. And simple past adjectival participle is batti. Simple past gerund is batti plus ni, batti ni, came. Past perfect adjectival participle is batti or bai di. Past perfect gerund is Vaidi plus ni, vaidi ni means have come. Negative adjective participle is barandi. Negative gerund is barandi plus ni, barandi ni means have not come. Let us see few other examples. Kalpu means learn. Present gerund is kalpuni means learning. Past gerund is kaltini, means learnt. And uh, past perfect gerund is kaltidini, means have learnt. And negative gerund is kalpandini, means have not learnt. Kenu means ask or hear. Present gerund kenuni, asking or hearing. Past gerund kendini, asked or heard. Past perfect gerund, kendini, have asked or heard. Negative gerund is, kenandini, have not asked or heard. Okay, now let us see few sentences using gerunds. Gerunds are mainly used as nouns. Barpini popini, coming and going. Barpini arogya at death, drinking is not good for health. Tulu kalpuni must sulabha. Learning Tulu is very easy. Kate barapini panda ink ishta. I like writing stories. Nadapuni arogya gade. Walking is good for health. Gerunds are also used instead of personal forms of verbs in questions or uh, answering questions or when emphasizing the action. For example, Eru battini, who came, instead of Eru batter. Here we already know someone has come, but we don't know who it is. So we are emphasizing the verb came in the sentence. Another example, Idaya battini, why did you come, instead of Idaya batta. Iode popini, where do you go, or where are you going. I itta poini. He went just now. Nikulu epa vaidini. When did you all come? Eru barandini. Who did not come? Akalu koda battini. Ini poopini. They came yesterday and will go today. E lettine kyan battini. I came because you called me. E pandini kyan maltini. I did it because you told me. Okay, now let us see infinitives in Tulu. The suffix is ere or are. The suffix ere or are is added to root verb. For example, baru means come. Baru plus ere, barere or barre. 
means to come po plus era po era means to go tu plus era tu era to see tinu plus era tinera or tindra to eat unu plus era unera or unra to have lunch or dinner keru plus era kerera or kerra to kill koru plus era korera or korra to give malpu plus era malpera to do uppu plus era uppera to be kenu plus era kenera or kendra to ask or hear untu plus era untera to stand kullu plus era kullera to sit buru plus era burera or burra to fall jatanu plus era jatonara or jatonra to take for oneself malpa plus era malpaera to make someone do this form is used same as to plus verb in english sometimes the dative case suffix gu is used with this form optionally yana ninanu tuyara battini or yana ninanu tuyare gu battini i came to see you enku tulu paathar rabar puji i don't know to speak tulu enku saalege poyare undu i have to go to school nikku malpara daala bele ichcha don't you have anything to do aina telipayara enadu saadhi ichi it's not possible for me to make him smile or laugh enku ninanu madapara aapuji i can't forget you or it's not possible for me to forget you enku bulipara varpundu i feel like to cry iregu tindre daala bode do you want anything to eat bodu is modal verb in tulu which means want or need its opposite is bodchi which means not wanted or need not for example ink neer bodu i want water nikku cha boda do you want tea ink cha bodchi kaapi bodu i don't want tea i want coffee Now let us see verbal nouns in Tulu. There are many suffixes like uh, te, el, as, ke or ge, au, a, pu, aata, aati ge, ani ge, chil, etc. are added to root words to make verbal nouns. Examples Eru means to ascend or increase. Eru plus te, er te or er te means ascending or high tide. Nadapu means to walk or behave. Nadate means behavior or conduct. Pugaru means to praise. Pugarte raising. Jappu to get down or descend. Jappu plus L, Jappel, descending or slope or uh, low tide. Bachu, to be tired. Bachel, tiredness. Unu, to eat meal. Unas or Anas, meal or food. Unpu or Nuppu, food or cooked rice. tinu to eat tinas food or snack nalipu to dance nalike dance telipu to smile or laugh telike smile or laughter podi to fear podige fear or fright bare to write barau writing or education say to die saw death kalpu to learn kalpa 
learning or cleverness patheru to speak or talk patera speech or word po to go popu goi kalku to scream kalkata screaming mech to like mechanige liking or appreciation pin to know or understand pindanige knowledge or intellect or understanding pune to fight or attempt pune chil or pune ho or pune po fight or attempt or struggle bule to grow bule chil growth some of the verbs do not take any suffix and are used as nouns as well in their crude form examples gobbo as a verb to play and gobbo as a noun means game the same ninepu to think or remember ninepu as a noun is memory or remembrance bulipo as a verb to cry or weep bulipo as a noun cry or lamentation badak as a verb to live badak as a noun life leppu as a verb call leppu as a noun call now let us see few sentences using verbal nouns undu ertada portu this is high tide time ar bari pugartada bela maltade he or she has done a praise worthy work aige churla bachche lejji he does not have tiredness at all vanasugu portandu it's time for lunch or dinner ar nalike de bari usharu she is good at dancing arena mone de telike ichi he or she doesn't have a smile at his or her face enku eranala podige ichi i don't have fear of anyone yana radda paathera paathiriye i spoke few words alena kalkata kindi the mata koodiye all gathered hearing her scream arena pune chelgu kadegla phala tikkandu finally he or she got the fruit for his or her struggle aaye banji gobbu gobbi ay he played a game enna badukudu nikku dala sthana ichi you don't have any place in my life bale da bulipu kendu do yan poya i went hearing kids cry okay that's all we had for the day in the next video we will learn imperative mood in tulu thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click on the thumbs up button below also don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button to get notification on my latest video lessons on youtube if you have any suggestions please comment happy learning and we will meet again in the next video bye